If the Wi-Fi option is not showing on your taskbar, try one of these three fixes. Fix number one. Write in the search box, troubleshoot, as you can see on the screen. Then click on the first result here, troubleshoot settings. Then this window will open. In this window, click here, other troubleshooters. Then from this list, locate internet connections. Click on run button towards internet connections. Then in this window, click on the first link here, troubleshoot my connection to the internet. Now, the Windows troubleshooter will detect the problem with your connection. It will show the problem with your computer, and it will suggest some fixes. You can find here some links to fix your problem. In my case it says to click on this link to try the repairs suggested by the troubleshooter. Now wait until this repairing process will be completed. Once it is over, your problem should be fixed. Then close this window and check whether your problem is fixed or not. If the problem still exists, then try the second fix. Type in the search box, Services, as you can see on the screen. Then right click on the first result, Services. From these options, click on the first one, Run as Administrator. Now, in this window, locate the service named, Wired Auto Config. It is here. Open it by double clicking. Then in this window, under the General tab, set the startup type as automatic from this drop down list. Then click Apply. Then click Start here. Then click OK. Now close this window, and then restart your computer. After restarting your problem should be fixed. If this method also doesn't work with you, then try the third method. To do it, right click on the start menu. Then from these options, click on device manager. Then in this window, locate network adapters. It is here. Expand it. Then from this items, locate the driver software of your wireless network. It is here. Right click on it. Now from these options, click on disable driver. Click yes in this warning window. Then, once again right click on the driver software which has been disabled. Now, from these options, click on enable driver. Ok, now check whether your problem is fixed or not. If it is not fixed, then once again right click on the driver software. This time click on, update driver. Now from these two options, click on the second one, browse my computer for drivers. In the next window, click on this link. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. In the next window, from these models, select any one. Then click next. Now. Wait until this installation process will be completed. Once it says that Windows has successfully updated your driver, close these windows. Now restart your computer. After restarting, your problem should be fixed. I hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching this video from TechBee. Please subscribe my channel for my latest videos. Thank you.